dear student assalamu alaikum hope all of you doing well this is topics in institutional economics and today's lecture about the how to measure institutions in the previous lecture we briefly discussed the definition of institutions and characteristics of institutions along with the difference between institutions and organization in this lecture we will learn how to measure these institutions proxies of institutions there are hundreds of institutional proxies but we select 3 out of which these institutional proxies frequently used in the applied research namely index of economic freedom of the world the international country risk guide the worldwide governance indicator so first of all we review the definition of institutions so according to north institutions are the formal rules and informal norms together with the enforcement mechanism shapes the human interaction in exchange north 1990 institution can be defined as the set of working rules that are used to determine who is eligible to make decision in some arena what actions are allowed or constrained what actions are allowed or constrained what aggregation rules will be used what procedure must be followed what information must or must not be provided and what pay offs will be assigned to individuals dependent on their action ostrom 1990 page 5 institutional measures the important issue in empirical research is how to conceptualize these theoretical constructs institutions are latent factors within the economic system and it is hard to define one proxy which would stably represent the quality of the institutional environment a composite indicator which combines the information of the several empirical measures is a better solution it can be based on simple average of more variables or better yet extracted as the latent factor with factor analysis so that it truly represent the underlying institutional dimension which are the institutional proxies here institutional measures here we discuss the three most frequent used measure of the institutional quality namely index of the economic freedom of the world the international country risk guide icrg and the worldwide governance indicator the index of the economic freedom of the world we measure the economic freedom based on 12 quantitative and qualitative factors grouped into four broad categories or pillars of economic freedom there are four pillars are rule of law government size regulatory efficiency open markets further divided into the following category rule of law include the property rights government integrity judicial effectiveness government size include the government spending tax burden and fiscal health regulatory efficiency includes the business freedom labor freedom monetary freedom and open market include the trade freedom investment freedom and financial freedom the international country risk guide that is the icrg the international country risk guide icrg rating comprising 22 variables in 3 sub categories of risk political financial and economic the total points from three indices are divided by 
two to produce the weights for inclusion in composite country risk score. Category is the worldwide governance indicator that is WGI. WGI consists of the six composite indicator of broad dimensions of governance covering over 200 countries 1996. There are voice and accountability, political stability and absence of violence or terrorism, government effectiveness, regularity quality, rule of law and control of corruption. But today we only discuss the index of the freedom of the world in detail. We measure the economic freedom based on 12 quantitative and qualitative factors grouped into four broad categories or pillars of economic freedom. There are rule of law, government size, regularity efficiency and open market. Index of economic freedom of the world. Question 1. What is the economic freedom? Economic freedom is the fundamental right of every human to control his or her own labor and property. In an economically free society, individuals are free to work, produce, consume and invest in any way they please. In economically free societies, government allows labor, capital and goods to move freely and refrain from coercion or constraint of liberty beyond the extent necessary to protect and maintain the liberty itself. How do you measure the economic freedom? As I previous slides explain these four categories, we measure in these four categories of economic freedom, that is the rule of law, government size, regularity efficiency and open. Each of 12 economic freedoms within these categories is graded on a scale of 0 to 100. A country overall score is derived by averaging these 12 economic freedom with equal weights being given to each. More information on grading and methodology can be found in the appendix. These appendix I will provide you by email. Now we briefly discuss these four categories and their definitions. Rule of law. The principles that all people and institutions are subject to and accountable to law that is fairly applied and enforced. The principle of government by law. Rule of law also includes the property rights, government integrity and judicial effectiveness. Our second pillar is government size. Government size, most analysts have defined government size as the ratio of government expenditure to total output of an economy with total output usually measured by the gross domestic product that is the GDP. In this index, government size includes the government spending, tax burden and fiscal health as well. Regularity efficiency. It concerns the provision of both legislation and subordinate measures as well as decision making in the context of regulation setting and of the administration of regulations. The economic freedom of the world also include business freedom, labor freedom and monetary freedom in the regularity efficiency definition. The open markets. 
open markets the term open markets is used generally to refers to an economic situation close to free trade in a more specific and technical sense the terms refer to interbank trade in securities in pakistan a state bank control all the financial market and interbank offer rate within the bank rates this index also include the trade freedom investment freedom and financial freedom in the open markets which component of the economic freedom are most important the index of the index of economic freedom consider a very every component equally important in achieving the positive benefits of the economic freedom each freedom is weighted equally in determining the country scores countries considering economic reforms may find the significant opportunities for improving economic performance in those factor in which they are score the lowest these factor may indicate significant binding constraints on the economic growth and prosperity our next question is what are the benefits of the economic freedom economic freedoms bring greater prosperity the index of economic freedom documents the positive relationship between economic freedom and a variety of positive social and economic goals the ideals of economic freedom are strongly associated with the healthier societies cleaner environments greater per capita wealth or income human development democracy and poverty elimination for further information see especially index of economic freedom of the world and heritage foundations i provide at the end of this slide activity explore the data of index of economic freedom for pakistan and check pakistan score all categories of the economic freedom the data set given below note uploaded data at easyclass.com in excel form here is the link for explore the economic freedom data assignment 2 assignment 2 i also uploaded in the easyclass.com please read carefully all the instruction in the easyclass.com and upload timely on the easyclass.com in this assignment at that assignment write the critical review of the research paper institutional quality data set this is the title of the paper download link here doi number you just copy and paste on the your google chrome assignment should upload on the easyclass.com within the due date copy paste and plagiarism award zero marks or zero grades use ms word document for assignments preparation read all the instruction carefully on the easy class reference this lecture based on the research paper given institutional quality data set which have i also given as assignment thank you